With FileMaster, you can have as many file locations as you like. Whether you're a home-based business with a simple desk file or something rather larger, we've got you covered. And it's easy. Let's say you start with something simple, say some files at your desk. You might call this file location My Desk. As you can see within FileMaster here, we have the name of the document, we have the file location, which could be a file cabinet at my desk, or Mary's desk, or Bob's desk, or some archive files in the back room, and then of course the file number within any one of those locations. So for this example, we will be filing a customer contract at my desk in file number six. So let's go ahead and file our document. In file folder number six, if it's the first time you've used this location, of course we have to create it in the drop down list here. And then we'll select it and file. Then after a while, business is good and you purchase a larger file cabinet for your office. So when you're ready to add some files into the new file cabinet, you simply create the file. Add the new location. For this example, we're just going to call it wall files and file it. Now, as your business grows, you simply create more file locations as you need them. And here's a tip. When creating new file locations, it's best to name the file cabinet locations something meaningful. So when you're creating a file, it's easy to quickly identify which cabinet it is. As you can see here, I can quickly identify my desk files, anything in catalog one, the tall cabinet at the back of our office, our archive files where our mortgages are, the safe, the thick files, which is a file cabinet for very thick files like human resource files, and of course our virtual files, which we'll talk about later. As you can see here, if we were just using numbers, it would be very confusing and too easy to make a mistake. Of course, you certainly can if you want to. And in some larger office environments, that's actually the perfect solution if you have multiple filing cabinets, especially in one room. But if I were to do this, I would still use an identifier. You may remember we did cat1 for catalog1. That way I know it's a catalog number one. In this case, let's say this room is called storage. We would probably name these file locations storage1, storage2, storage3, and so forth. But no matter your choice, keep in mind it only takes a few seconds to change the file cabinet name to anything you want. You can change each file individually, or you can change them all at once from any location to any other location or rename them in a few seconds. This gives you absolute flexibility so that as your business grows, you can make changes on the fly. So let's say, for instance, we have a new employee named Bob, and he's got some files at his desk that he's in charge of. We would simply click the edit button and maybe put Bob's desk. And of course his files would start with whatever number he liked, but we suggest starting with file number one, of course. But sadly, a year later, Bob gets fired. And now Mary's gonna take over. So what do we do with all of Bob's files? Well, it couldn't be simpler. You just navigate over to the company information page. Now select the change file locations button right here. Choose the file locations you want to change. Choose the new file location. You have to set that up first. Now, we're deleting Bob's desk and adding Mary's desk in its place because Bob has been fired. Approve the change. And voila, all the files are now moved to the new location. This gives you absolute flexibility as your business expands and grows. Again, it doesn't matter if you've only got a desk file or if you've got hundreds of filing cabinets with hundreds of catalogs and spec books. Everything in FileMaster is always available at any moment and you can find it in a few seconds.